what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're gonna be opening the Transformers Studio Series number 103 Rise of the Beast. This is Rhinox and it took me a while to find this mostly because my stores just kept stocking up on the early waves of 2023 and didn't really move on too much from that so Finally, here it is, and I'm grateful that we got Rhinox. So, let's go ahead and open this up. This is not a review. I want to make that clear. This is an opening video. The difference is, with the review, I'm like, hey, I've experienced this mold, and I know what I'm talking about. For this, I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, technically, I never know what I'm talking about, but I know more of what I'm talking about with the review. All right, let's open that up, and he's just gonna fall for it because he's drunk or something. There's that white sheet of doom. Move the box to the side. There's the instructions in blue. Have they always been in blue? I don't remember. I thought they were in a different color, but uh, eh. Anyways, uh, opening that up so that I can tell exactly what I'm doing because it's been a while since I've taken a look at anything revolving this figure. Oh my god, he's big and chunky. I didn't think he would be that big, but uh, here we are. Wow. Alright, so he's got a little hammer thing so he can punch meat or something. I don't know. It looks like one of those meat puncher things. Alright, let's go ahead and cut out the strands. There seems to be only five? Is that it? Yes, that's it! And he just comes out really smoothly. All right, let's move the box out of the way. And also, let's try to focus in on what we're actually talking about here. There is Rhinox, and the paintwork is really good where there's actual paint. Uh, but the unpainted plastic actually doesn't look too bad here. I would like to see more paint up here. Maybe some of that gunmetal right on the shoulders. Maybe a little more going on with the face to define the actual face and the helmet. Uh, but I like the horns on the back. I think that looks pretty cool. I know some people went after the Rise of the Beast mainline Rhinox and that's fine. Uh, I was considering that, but for me personally, one, I like the accuracy to the movie, and I also like the shaping of this a little bit more. Again, with the horns, the head, I think it looks good. It's not far off from the other Rhinox, but it's just enough for me to go, wait, that's not Rhinox. What's going on here? Uh, do the arms or legs move out? Yes, they do. It just, it looked really strange, their design, so... Uh, let's see. Okay, so he's got wrist articulation. That's good. Proper working shoulders. Take that, leader class figures. Um, let's see. The head sculpt looks really cool. I was playing around with that uh, from inside the box, even though I can't seem to turn it now. Yeah, for some reason it's just not turning. It's just sitting there. Uh, let's see. The legs look kind of short, but... Otherwise, yeah, he, he's fine. Now then let's take a look at that hammer thing. The knee is a little weak here. I'll say that, but... Okay, let's slide that in. And there's a certain point where it thickens to actually connect into the hand. And yeah, that looks fine. You can swing that around and punch a bunch of freezer knockoffs or Novocaine knockoffs. Uh, let's see. Also, that can move out of the way. It's not meant to for the robot mode, but it can move out of the way. Also, you got this backdrop. This is apparently the maximal base. This is technically based on a deleted portion of the cave scene. So it's kind of funny that we got that. But anyways, let's go ahead and figure out how to do a rhino. Because I would like to do a rhino. Also, the porthole on the back there is left open. So technically, I guess you can pop this up and just plug that right on the back. I wonder if they show that. They don't show that on the instructions, at least not on this side. So anyways, let's go ahead and do a thing, my bobber doodad. Uh, first of all, you want to open his Galvatron-esque abs, which glorious, by the way. Thank you for that. It looks like a girdle now. Uh, let's see, what's next? So the chest is supposed to swing down, I think. Yes, it is. And then what's next? We flip this back into place? It almost looks like, yeah, you're supposed to flip that back into place. 
Is there a connection here? Oh yeah, okay, so I, I see the connection right there. Okay, there we go. Now he just... Hey, it's Leadfoot! Uh, let's see. Oh, we are supposed to do that. Okay, cool. I did that as a joke, but apparently that's part of the instructions. Alright, so next what we want to do is take this, open that up, and then the backing will open here. Again, it's been a while, so I have no idea exactly what I'm doing. Oh my god, there's the entire rhino head. I mean, it had to come from somewhere, but it's so well hidden that I forgot. Oh yeah, he's supposed to have a rhino head in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the horns are supposed to flip in to there. And then what's next? Kind of confusing on this part. Um, is this supposed to fold... It looks like this comes up again, but I don't think that's what happens. And it's very confusing. Um. Oh, I see what what's going on here. Okay, yeah, he's got a horn. There we go. Okay, ha ha. It looked like the same piece that was right here. So. Uh, let's see, this neck guard is supposed to swing up. I think. It looks like it's supposed to swing up. Is it? That's what it looks like in the instructions, but for some reason it's jammed. I'll, I'll take a second to figure that out. Literally moved it off screen and then figured it out, so that wasn't too hard. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what else we're supposed to do. So this is supposed to come up, and there's a couple of tabs right there. So basically close that up. And now we have this monstrosity. Oh my god, what have I become? Actually, he looks... You know what he looks like? He looks like the Rhino in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 right now. Alright, so... This is supposed to come down here and click into place like so. And then we bring down the arms. Like that. The wrists are supposed to rotate. And this I can pretty much just figure out for myself at this point. Yeah, those aren't too hard to, to do. Let's see, do the same thing to the other side. Oh, I forgot to rotate the fist. At least, if, is this supposed to be the front now, or? I think, I think that's supposed to be the front now, so. Oh, that just popped right off. That's cool, I guess, if you like... Okay, well... Ugh, those shoulders. <laughs> okay, so now we have this. Ah, let's pop those back in. They're just friction joints. You could tell they were meant to be pinned, but they opt out for friction joints, and I think that's totally fair. Uh, let's see, this is supposed to come down. You can see it's on a double joint, and then tabs right into place here. At least I think it is. Is that as far as it will go in? Because it feels like it should go in further than that. Because I'm seeing a little... a secondary tab. There we go. Okay, now I got that in place. He's a weird looking bugger. Let's see. Um, sorry that my phone was going off. There we go. Okay, now I got that. Now he's starting to look like a Rhino-esque character. Uh, let's see. So these are supposed to flip out. These are on very, very thin joints. Or they're just very thin in general. So I don't like moving that too much. Uh, let's see. And then the waist is supposed to click back down into here. And then, as for the legs, it looks like these panels are just supposed to stay down? I don't know, it looks weird. Because it shows that these collapse somehow. Are they supposed to 
Is there a double joint or something? I don't know, it's not entirely clear what I'm supposed to do here for the legs. It doesn't necessarily specify, it just says push down. Well, that's as far down as it will go, I think, so I, I, I don't... I don't understand exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, let's see, just... I guess put the legs together and... Are they missing a step or something? I, I feel like I'm missing something entirely. Because it shows this, and then the next step shows it like that, with the legs completely turned around. So did they mean to rotate the legs? Because this doesn't make any sense. But you can't do that. You have to rotate the waist, but I'm not seeing the same panels here. Oh, I, th I think... I think it's just meant to move forward. Okay, this part is very confusing. I I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm sure that collapses. Because I'm seeing a pin. Oh no, there's no... I'm not seeing a rotational joint or anything. No, it's just pinned on the side. I don't understand that. Is it supposed to... Okay, okay. So the bottom of the legs just fold in. I, okay, I guess. Didn't really feel that necessary, but that's what they decided to do. Anyways, fold this down, like so. That is really confusing. And that's supposed to fold down, and there we have a rhino, and the stomach is definitely weird. Uh, these things keep popping out, but otherwise... He's a rhino. I love the head. That looks cool. Does the mouth open and close? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. And let's bring in the weapon. Plug that into place on top of there. And we have another movie Maximal. One thing I like about Rise of the Beast, you can critique it all you want, but hey, it gave us Maximals, so that's cool. Anyways, with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun do that. And I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime.